my biggest gripe with the SEO community when it comes to technical SEO is the need to overcomplicate it. If you Google technical SEO checklist or audit, you'll find articles that have like 100, 200, 300 points to it. Now, technical SEO is important. I always like to say it's kind of like building a house. If you build it on a shaky foundation, it's going to fall down. That's really what technical SEO is. It's the foundation of a campaign. You can build as many content as links as you want, but if you don't have the foundation of the house built properly, it's gonna fall down in the future. It's gonna be very frustrating because you're not gonna know what it is. Now the challenge is, is figuring out how you can deliver technical SEO when you've got a ton of clients. You might not have the skill set in house because technical SEO expertise is expensive. And hiring somebody off of Upwork, they don't always have that expertise, especially with the type of clients that you wanna work with. So over the years, we have developed our own technical audit. We call it the website quality audit. It's also AKA the Swiss army knife of audits because this one audit allows us to knock out the technical things, content audit, um, keyword research and content planning. And it basically takes the, the need for multiple deliverables, especially that long technical SEO audit checklist that honestly, 80% of that stuff doesn't really do anything. You want to focus on the small amount of things in technical SEO that are actually going to have an impact on the campaign. And that's exactly how this audit was built within mine. So what's really cool about this too is it runs completely in Google Sheets. And what it does is it pulls in data from five different sources. And we automated it too. So it pulls in Screaming Frog or Site, uh, site site bulb um, it pulls in site maps it pulls in links from hrefs and search console keyword, re keyword rankings from semrush google analytics and search console data these six different things that it pulls in here what it does is you can see it pulls in everything here on the aggregation tab you can see in line two here column two where it's coming from screaming frog if it's a manual thing that we do semrush so you can see keyword performance you can see uh, traffic performance from GA and GSC, conversions from GA, on-page data from Screaming Frog, page titles, word count, uh, followed links from Ahrefs, more stuff, uh, canonical if it's in the sitemap, uh, if it's indexed or non-indexed, the status code, and it aggregates it at the URL level. So every single page on a website has all this SEO data, and what it allows us to do is go through and tag the page by, by category, right? So we have all these categories built in. These are pre-built in too to this template. It's really cool. And then we have technical actions and content actions. So it allows us to go through and very quickly analyze every page on a website and assign an action to it. So we have an action, either technical or content. You can see all these different actions that we have here, all the different content actions that we have here, which allows us to make a decision about how we want to handle this page. So now we have both the technical audit and essentially a content audit done in one fell swoop, if you will. And you can seg segregate it to do just a content audit if you want to break it out and do a little bit more. We have clusters, we have all sorts of different kind of like things that we'll do here in terms of summary. We actually use ChatGPT for this too. It's kind of cool uh, to integrate ChatGPT. And you might be asking why not just use Sitebulb or Ahrefs or Screaming Frog? And the reason is because that all needs to end up in a spreadsheet anyways when you really want to do the analysis. Those tools are great, that's why we use their data. But in all reality, that analysis really happens inside of a spreadsheet. And at the end of this, what we have here is we have a matrix. This matrix uh, allows us to look at the different buckets, whether it's technical or content, right? You can unfilter these. And then we set up actions off the back of this. So that way things don't just fall by the wayside and don't get done, which is another common thing with tech class. So you do all the work and it ends up going nowhere because you didn't push to the next stage, which is implementation. So this matrix that we fill out off the back of this, we just literally take the actions, the URL actions that we have, we compile them here, and then we push them into a project plan to get done. And we have all the data that we need in here. And we can just create more tabs in here for like 301 redirect lists or canonical issues, things along that nature, broken links. So everything is done in here inside the spreadsheet. And this is how we've mitigated the problem of uh, too much time spent on technical SEO or deliverables that don't really mean anything. We now also have a process and an SOP that we use to run this. So we're able to hire people that don't necessarily have the technical background that you see on SEO Twitter talking about things that, in my opinion, don't really matter. So if you want access to this, I'm giving this away as a part of our latest boot camp inside of the Blueprint Training. You'll get access to this. You'll get access to the SOP. You'll get access to some other really important documents too. And I'm going to teach you live uh, and also via video training on exactly how you could run this, or you can just send me your team and I'll train them for you. So if you want access, just let me know. It's yours.